Turning now to our Prime playlist with UK music sensation Ray, who took uh, the charts, by the way, by storm early in her career with her dance pop hits. Despite her success, she knew she wanted to put out music she felt more personally connected to. ABC's Phil Lipoff sat down with her to explore her journey to becoming an independent artist. Ray has been running towards stardom her whole life. Sleezing and teasing, I'm sitting on him. Her 2022 release, Escapism, streamed more than half a billion times. That success, and perhaps more important to the 26-year-old, her artistic freedom did not come overnight. When I signed my record deal when I was 17, in my mind, I was going to be like, but here's my album, and they were like, yeah, okay, great. And I'm like, okay, so... You could go and do some sessions mm. with these people. Go and work right with them. She says her label ignored what she wanted to create. Instead, put her together with some of the biggest DJs and producers to make dance hits like You Don't Know Me. The Jax Jones 2016 release featuring Ray climbed to number three on the UK charts. Her voice becoming synonymous with the genre, but only that genre. Finally, after seven years in 2021, Ray says she had had enough and took to social media claiming that her label was preventing her from releasing her own album instead of just single after single. Shortly after that, she was let out of her contract. Suddenly, untethered, independent, and ready to be Ray. Or Rachel Agatha Keene, born in Yorkshire, England. In her teens, her passion for music grew, inspired by legends like Nina Simone, Ray seen here singing Feeling Good. Now headlining her own tour, and Ray fans around the world finally have her first full-length solo album, My 21st Century Blues. A 13-song journey, pop mixed with jazz, R&B, and a little dance, with lyrics to match the highs and lows of the life she's lived. There's Oscar-winning tears. Cry those and deeply personal songs like Ice Cream Man. Written about being sexually assaulted. Whenever you go to that place, I think a lot of people who experience some of these things experience PTSD and experience the aftermath of trauma that was dealt to you that you didn't deserve. Like, you know, having to figure out how to pick your life up after you've been completely broken and, and abused and and um, that's a song that I made to just remind myself how strong I am. Escapism, her first single as an independent artist shot to number one in the UK and now a live album recording at the famed Royal Albert Hall in London. It's going to be amazing. I think Escapism is going to be insane with dun, 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 you know them <laughs> chords. The song is upbeat, but for us, Ray played it like this. Sleezing and teasing, I'm sitting on him. All of my diamonds are dripping on him. My met him at the bar, it was 12 or something. I would do more wines, cause tonight I want him. In the middle of her longest tour yet, 133 shows. When I come out the other side of that, um, we'll see. Yeah. But I do have some things in the vibe, so we'll just, there's no rules. I don't know, and I'm also a very spontaneous person. I could wake up tomorrow and be like, guys, <laughs> I feel like we're going to drop uh, an EP full of this, this and that. Like, I just, you just don't know with me. So there's nothing to regret other than this 4-4 four, four kick drum pounding on my head. Hmm. I love it. Bet on yourself. Yeah, and be your authentic self. Mm -hmm. Like she really discovered her authentic self, and you can tell that voice. You can is really tell. Powerful. I many thanks to Phil for bringing us that story. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.